So sugar does not feed cancer. Sugar feeds everything. Um, your cells use sugar to do their job, and your brain, use sugar, your brain uses sugar almost exclusively. So sugar does not feed cancer. Sugar feeds all your cells. Cancer cells use sugar more efficiently than your normal cells, okay? So you're in a little bit of a race there. If you're struggling with cancer or you have, are in treatment, your cancer cells are using fat and sugar really efficiently. Your normal cells are not using it as efficiently. So what matters is not eating sugar, but the type of sugar, okay? So you should never be eating white sugar unless you're in chemotherapy and you can't tolerate anything else. The best sugar for you is maple syrup. And then the second best sugar for you is honey in a glass jar. Third best would be something like molasses. Fourth best would be something like stevia, not truvia, but stevia, the plant. Um, fifth would be uh, sugar, uh, agave. And the least best for you is sugar in the raw those brown sugar packets at Starbucks. A lot of treatments, um, including exposure to hormonal therapy, but even um, some of the treatments like radiation, uh, surgery, will, make, will cause changes in blood sugar and in, cause changes in cholesterol, particularly hormonal therapy um, and steroid treatment. And the reason why is those treatments uh, in, interfere with the metabolism of sugar and lipids. Why is that a problem? Poor metabolism of sugar and lipids, in other words, diabetes or high cholesterol, increase your risk of progression, increase the incidence of cancer, and lower, increase your risk of recurrence. So it's very, very important to control prediabetes, diabetes, high cholesterol in conjunction with your cancer treatment. The, um, the unfortunate thing is your urologist or your oncologist, whoever you might be seeing, is very focused just on the cancer. As he mentioned to you, well, we test the PSA, we don't have any other real biomarkers. If we see something, we go after that thing. They're very laser focused and they're excellent at that. But what they're not doing is all the other pieces, the terrain in which that cancer is growing, right? The question is, why did this happen? And it's not just because you're a guy and you have a prostate, right? It is also because there's other factors that go into making you, you that increase the risk of cancer by changing the terrain. Mm -hmm.